We're back with the men's doubles in grey and blue for France. Lucas Corvey and Brice Lebedis against Swedish pair Myren and Rupinen. Brice Lebedis mixing these days uh, men's doubles and men's singles in the off season in terms of Olympic qualification. And on screen we have uh, Nico Rupinen, his long haired trademark from the Swede. I think you can probably expect two slightly different styles of play here, Mark. I think the Swedes play a more traditional attacking men's doubles, the French quite a flamboyant style of play. Corvey in particular, um, if he has the opportunity to play the shot behind his back or between his legs, is quite likely to take it. So it could be quite an entertaining match. Yeah, and of course, both the French play a pretty high standard men's singles. Yeah, and both are very quick. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Louis, Corvey, and Price, Levendez, France. And as you can see on, on, on screen, I'm Michael Mark Phelan once again, Mary joined alongside me, uh, Leon Nicole Douglas. Permanent. Leon, tell us a little bit, tell the viewers a little bit about you and your role. And, uh, well, my role at the moment is uh, chair of performance, so I, I look after um, most of the, the senior squad, the junior <laughs> squad and the, the various coaches, uh, make sure that everything on the performance side runs according to plan. Uh, I've worked with most of the Scottish players mm -hmm. for the last 15 years. I've coached and team managed at various times, uh, travelled around the circuit. Yeah. Uh, so I know most of the players around. Yeah. So you're the one who cracks the whip. Oh. In theory, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quite often it tends to be the other way around. You know, players can quite often call the shots. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So already two points into this men's doubles. And the trademark headband on Lucas Corvey. Yeah, good. Three, Play from one. Corvey. Serve and return. And on the third shot, putting the shuttle away. It's been a long Three, day four, here in the Emirates two, Arena. Still three. a reasonably healthy crowd. In terms of Babington, Scotland, what are they expecting for the weekend? Are you expecting full house? Yeah, Sunday in particular, we're mm -hmm. pretty sure it'll be absolutely jam-packed. Mm -hmm. It should be a great atmosphere in here. Uh, Saturday, Semi as you might know, semi-finals day, we have a certain football club has a match uh, right next door to us, Celtic mm -hmm. Football Club, have a home game. Um, so getting in and out of here will be quite tricky. Yeah. Uh, there's also, of course, rugby on at Murrayfield. But we'll still have a, a, a pretty reasonable house, I would think. A lot of sport to enjoy around Glasgow these days, and the facilities around the, the city are really second to none. Yeah, of course, and in the, in the build-up to the Commonwealth Games, there have been new facilities built, and there's growing excitement, as everybody anticipates, next year, Glasgow 2014. Mm -hmm. In terms of ticket sales and uh, advanced ticket sales? They've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I believe uh, everything um, that's been on offer so far has sold out, apart from maybe one or two seats in the really large arenas. Okay. Um, but they are expecting full houses at mm -hmm. virtually every sport and for almost virtually every session. Okay. So I think there will be a great atmosphere at all the sports. Yeah, well, that's real positive Three. to hear. Yeah. Three. As long as they make sure that they distribute those tickets correctly and we don't have what happens regularly at these big events where you see a lot of corporate empty seats and this type of thing, which is always tricky to manage. Yeah, th but there have been large tranches of tickets put on sale just to the general public. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I hope they've, uh, they've foreseen that, that mm -hmm. problem and found ways around it. So we're pre seeing the French here yeah. run away with a substantial four-point lead already in the mm -hmm. first set. Go around the um, back from Ruben and yeah. yeah. Just Good looks to me like they're quicker. Yeah. Taking the shuttle earlier, attacking every opportunity. Okay. On replay. 
The smash around the back from Nika Rupinen. Save is over. Eight, four. Little conversation between the French. Save is over. Nine, four. Brice Leverdice, number three seed, of course, in the men's singles. Had an epic match yesterday evening against Pablo Abian in Spain. A pretty comfortable win against Matias Elmer earlier today. Service over, 10, 6. Service over, 7, Serve return on third 10. shot, so important in men's doubles. And it's just been a couple of service errors here. Just trying to rush it too much, I think. Yeah, good play from Rupinen. Eight, ten. Save is over. Eleven, eight. Interval. A bit of a lead for the French, Leon, and uh, certainly I think good value for that lead in this early part of this game. Yeah, I think so. I think um, you, you can see the Swedes just a little bit taken aback, I think, by the speed that the French players are playing at just now, uh, just making a few unforced errors. Both players, though, trying very hard not to give away the attack, I think. I think it's Four just cooled down seconds. a little bit in the arena Four in the last half hour seconds. or so. Just might affect the speed of the shuttle. Of course, a lot of these players won't be Eleven used to playing eight. in such a big arena. Play. And no. the feel and the little bit of drift is always going to be a little bit of drift in a hall like this. I think that's absolutely right, Mark. Um, at this level of tournament, there are very, Seven very so few well. uh, events Nine. in Europe that are played in arenas 11. this size. Uh, it's hard to think of anything other than the All England, which of course is a Super Series Premier that's yeah, exactly. played in an arena like this. Even and the Denmark Open is Super Series four. Premier yeah. and it's in a small hall, compact yeah. hall. Ten. And it is a great opportunity Eleven. for players at this level to just experience what it's like in these arenas. But it's quite different uh, when you have this much height and of course the drift in the hall too yeah. to Eleven. cope with. Oh. Sometimes very hard to get the shuttle down. It seems to take forever very, to come down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good awareness from Brees Levides putting Service the shuttle over. back across well. Nico Rupinen. 11. Up. Save is over. 12. Oh. Save is over. 13. 12. Quite a contrast in the length of rallies in the men's doubles in comparison to ladies' doubles. It's Chalk and cheese. <laughs> Service over. 13. Oh. Over 14, really nice 15. tight return of serve there from Leverdez. Oh, nice yeah, play! Another great cross, yeah. Mm. Super cross 15, from Leverdez. 13. Again, good serve from Corvey. Save is over. 
15. Out. Yeah, service error. Yeah. Same is over. Coming 16, towards a critical point 14. in the game. Called out. Same is over. 15, 16. Oh. Between the legs and around the back from Lucas Corvey. You can almost guarantee that you'll get one oh. from Corvey every mm -hmm. game he plays between the legs. Sounded like a string going. Oh, no. 16. Oh, no. Just completely mistimed. Yep. Again, just strong attack there 16. from Leverdez, winning the point for the French. Yeah, very difficult to defend. That smash into the body. Shuttle just coming in to court from the adjoining court, just catching the eye of Nico Rupinen. Oh. Yeah. Clip the racket of Corvey. 17, 18. Good play 18. from Myron. Oh. From nowhere, the Swedes tied up at 18 all. Ten minutes gone. 19. Carvey just snatching 18. at that a little bit. Oh. Yeah, good play again 20. from Nico Rupinen. Game point. 18. Four points in a row. The serve of Myron takes the Swedes to game point. Save is over. 19, 20. Yeah, and that's yeah, a great brush off the net there. Super play from Myron. I've seen First all. Uh, I've seen Nico Rupin and play a lot. I've seen Brees and I've seen and Lucas Corvey. Myron is a player I don't Rupin, know that much about. Yeah. But in the end, good run of points for the Swedes. And a quick game, only just turned 11 minutes on the match clock. We'll see the winning point in replay. Myron with the smash. And the clear from Brees Levides and crouch defense. And then a little brush across the net down onto the body of Lucas Corvey for the yeah, winner. Yeah. Good point. And the Swedes, I think, just a little steadier throughout the set, a little bit more consistent. The French do play with a lot of flair and they are quite exciting to watch, but they do produce a few more unforced errors. Got a prediction for this, Mark? You know what? I fancy the French to come back. I've seen them uh, develop as a doubles pair and they're getting better. And uh, I think the steady head of Brees Leverdies working with the more inexperienced younger player, Lucas Corvey. I still think they're a better men's doubles pairing. Just a little lack of focus, I think, towards the end of that game. I think they were leading 18-15 and probably felt they had it won almost, Leon, and uh, think, yeah, took yeah. the foot off the pedal. I, I but you can't do that. You just can't do that at this level. I think, they, yeah, they did think they were, I thought they were just a little bit overconfident towards the end and just a couple of errors cost them that set. 
they could easily come back now, I think. Don't forget, if you're tweeting and watching, use the hashtag Second SOGP game. for all your tweets. Double. Anything that comes through, Play. we'll try our best to give you a mention. So the French raced away, I think, was it 7-2 lead in the first set and squandered that. it be interesting to see if they get away to a good start here. 7-3, 7-4 before the, the Swedes came back at them. Yeah. Good play. Save is over. Two, one. Save is over. Two, oh. Over three, just one or two gaps two. now appearing on the French side here. He's not quite understanding what they're doing. <laughs> There's one on the other side. Four, <laughs> Similar two. thing. Save over. Three. Yeah. Save it over. Five, three. Good play against from my Six, by Myron. Three. Yeah, Swedes are pressing a little bit now, just managing to keep the attack most of the time. French too much on the defensive, I think. Myron nice and high and alert at the net. Ah, oh, yes, nice yeah. play from Nico Rupinen. Yeah. Seven, three. Short flat lift there from Leverdez really gave that away. Good start this from the Swedes. Three. My prediction could be looking <laughs> a little bit dodgy. Yeah, a lovely cross net there. Three. Yeah, it's Ten. all a little bit rushed from Three. the French. Need a little bit of composure is required. Certainly the older head of Leverdies should be talking to his younger partner. Ooh. Yeah, I remember watching Corby in his European Junior Championships and it was a very similar story. He's very talented, he's got a lot of flair, very flamboyant, but he does rush a lot. And the number of unforced errors that come from that quite often, I think, cost games they possibly otherwise could have won. Nico Rupinen has obviously gone through his full uh, bag of rackets because he's now taken his partner's racket. I'm sure his sponsor won't be too happy <laughs> about that. Again, they're just trying to do something very clever. Yeah, I see the frustration there from a difficult position there. Frustration from Brice Levides, not quite slamming the racket onto the ground, yeah. but a little French push to the ground. <laughs> and, uh, a little bit of frustration creeping in.
Once again, as you can see, the Emirates Arena on Fort screen. One, looking one, as it should. Fantastic. And certainly a fantastic job done once again by Babington Scotland in presenting this tournament. I'm certainly one is all in favour of this conformity of colours around the, the courts. But the advertising, has cer it certainly proves for me the aesthetic of the whole thing. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit after the after this game if we get a second or two just about what goes into the presentation of the event. Well, I think one thing's for sure: the easiest job in any of these tournaments is the player's job. <laughs> they come and play and go. <laughs> Well, everybody else is here 14, 16, 18 hours a day. And that's kind of way the, the, the way it should be, yeah, really. Yeah, you know, yeah. the, you provide perfect conditions for players. You hope that they put on the show that the mm -hmm. spectators want. And that's, of course, what enhances the, the image of the sport. So. 7, 11. So a couple of points pulled back here by the French. Could get back into this game. Yeah, the attack set up by the very 12, aggressive return of serve seven. off Nico Rupinen. Oh. A little Eight. tap on the shoulder from Vries to his partner. Yeah, shot in the backhand, taken high and early by Corby, produced the winner. <laughs> Again, he's got his racket up high, taking the shuttle Nine. very early, surprising. Uh, Myron, wasn't it? Yeah. Over 13, 9. Oh. 14, Could be costly. Nine. Got a bit of work now to do if they're going to get back into this game, the French. Yeah, for sure. Five points. Big gap at this stage. Over. That's better, better technique 10, from uh, Lucas. 14. Rack it up. Ready for the interception. It's what makes them a little bit frustrating. They can play one or two fantastic shots, but then comes the simple error. Gone long, solid defence from the French pair, produces the result. Gap down to two points now. Good spirited fight back, this from the French. Yeah. You must remember they trailed, what was it, 11 4 at the interval? Yeah, and 14 9. 14-9, yeah. Oh, and the service error again. 15, Good work, and then yeah. these randomly poor points and bad errors. They don't do themselves any favours. There's another quite 16, simple mistake. 13. You know, in the blink of an eye, it goes, the gap goes out to three again. Oh. <laughs> 17. 
13. And Myron very quickly onto the net to make that cross court winner. Between the legs from Rupin and yep. Swedes time for the theatrics. 17. Just looking for a little bit of court maintenance. Nick will see. Good stretch from Nico Rupin. And then between the legs. Fantastic play. But then the French finishing it off. Still the Swedes. With that nice cushion to have at this point of the game. Three points. A sweeper there, that's a sought after position for next 17. year's Commonwealth Games. So, you know, seriously, the number of applicants for volunteer positions has been enormous. I think they have about 10 applications for each position available. So, uh, it's a tremendous response from the Scottish public for volunteerism. So can they string a couple of points together here to get back into this now? Yeah, it's a vital juncture in this match. Good smash. Service over. 16-18. Change in tactics, serve out wide, but Nico Rupinen very, very alert and aware. The Swedes now just two points away from ad advancing to the next round. Again, good brush for the winner, and it takes the Swedes 20, to match, match point. It's a little over anxious 20. there, trying to make the interception. Could have left it, and his partner would have got it, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's gone out. Game. Line judge just took a little bit of time but made sure, made the right call in the end. The Swedes, to be fair, deserved the winner. Deserved the yeah. win for sure and looked like a reasonably good pairing and uh, certainly well able to play the game. Uh, yeah. Good men's doubles yeah. and we put a lot of pressure on, the top, on any of the top five, seeds as they progress through this tournament. I'm sure it's a game they didn't find all that comfortable either. I think like when you play the kind of game that the French play, very unpredictable mm -hmm. and times there when I'm sure the French didn't really know what they were going to do next. It makes it difficult for your opponents. Uh, but they came through it well, held their nerve, composure. Yeah. Nico Rupin and certainly the class act on that uh, Swedish side of the net yeah. has been in and out of the Swedish national centre over the years. But back now and very much focused and uh, on his A game and certainly can compete with the best of them. And as they leave the court, it's the Swedes who advance to the next round. Deserved winners. I think we have two matches left on court. Next match. Next match is men's doubles. Robert Blair, of course, for Scot and for Scotland with his Malaysian partner Bin Shin Tan. And for Ireland. Youngster Jonathan Dolan alongside 26-year-old Sam McGee.